here we're gonna graph horizontal and vertical asymptotes of this function. So first thing is the vertical asymptotes are always where the denominator equals zero, but it's a lot easier to see where anything equals zero if I have it factored. So it looks like this factors to x plus two, x plus one. And you can factor the top also if you want to, you don't have to for this. So the bottom, where does the bottom, the denominator equals zero, gives me vertical asymptotes. Because think what happens there, that's numbers that I can't plug in because they're not in the domain. If I put negative two, it makes the denominator zero. I can never divide by zero. So it looks like x equals negative two and x equals negative one are the two values I don't want there. And then horizontal fall into three cases, depends on the degree of your equations. So here, the degree of the top and bottom are the same. So I get a horizontal asymptote at the top leading coefficient over the bottom one, which is one over one. So I have a horizontal one here at y equals one. All right, so if I wanna put those on a graph really quickly, what would they look like? So x equals negative two would be a vertical asymptote. x equals negative one, another vertical one, kind of close together there. And then at y equals one, we have a horizontal asymptote. 